the American people really want Congress to get back to work, real work, work like immigration reform. Today, as we speak, people across the country are preparing to join in more than 100 rallies and marches to demand that the House of Representatives take up an immigration reform bill passed by the Senate in June. The March for Immigrant Dignity and Respect, as the event is being billed, is a prelude to a rally Tuesday at the National Mall, where organizers hope to draw tens of thousands of people. So it's a reminder that sometimes Congress, you know, passes bills, creates legislation, and that none of that is happening in the middle of all of this drama. Right, right. And, you know, it, it's interesting because immigration reform has continually, it's briefly on the front burner, and then a crisis happens, Syria, you know, the, the, yeah. this, the debt ceiling, all these different things, and it gets pushed back. So this is an attempt just to put it back on the burner and remind people that the, the you know, we have a very mobilized Latino electorate. Mm -hmm. I, when, when I talk to different people, especially younger people, you would be amazed. Benji and I were talking about it. They are all in on this mm -hmm. issue. You know, these rallies are a big deal, and you know they are they are keeping the the pro reform supporters are keeping up the pressure. They they do not want to let this go away. And every time when people ask me, are you optimistic? You think it's going to mm -hmm. happen? I tell them, you know, you you have to be optimistic because mm -hmm. when you look at you know 1,100 people being deported a day, 400,000 people in the detention, yep. the humanitarian crisis on the border, I, I feel that you, we have to be optimistic just to to make it happen for for the sake of all these foot soldiers and young people and activists who are walking the walk and out there trying to trying to make it a reality. Uh, Benji, you wrote a, a piece about 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 the new bill uh, just this week. Tell us a little bit about this. So what's happening here is that there's been a lot of movement in the House, but little little signs of movement on immigration. But it really hasn't produced a full uh, bipartisan bill yet. Mm -hmm. uh, in fact, there were some bipartisan talks that collapsed. So right now, Republicans are still figuring out their own plans. So to put pressure on them, uh, Democrats are uniting behind their own bill which isn't likely to pass, but it's kind of setting down a marker saying, look, we're going to prove we're united on this issue. This is to pressure you to start showing that you care about it, too. And the bill is basically just the Senate bill. Right. It's the Senate bill plus a uh, border security bill that passed with a unanimous bipartisan support in the House Homeland Security uh, co uh, Committee. So what they're trying to say is, look, we're... We're showing we're unified, yes, this is a Democratic bill, but we're not putting some far-left marker out saying mm -hmm. that this is the start of our negotiating position. What we're trying to show you is that we have an appetite for compromise. A yes. lot of our members don't like this Senate bill. They'd want yep. a much clearer path to citizenship. They don't like a lot of this border security surge. But we're willing to come together and endorse some ideas Republicans have already voted for. And that bill is very important, not just as a placeholder. You know, it's mm -hmm. not likely to be, you know, to, to, be, to pass. But it's important for people following this debate who think, oh, immigration is dying in the House. Mm -hmm. This is drawing a line so they can say, no, we, it, House Democrats have a plan. Immigration is dying with House Republicans. How important does that end up being? By, I, I'm just sort of thinking forward to the 2014 election. If we are, if we're just lurching from one crisis, manufactured crisis to another, how important to something substantive, like the issue of immigration reform, the reality that there's a House bill, that there's a Senate bill, how does it, does it make any difference come election time? I mean, they better get it together on this one. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the Latino electorate, which is called the rising electorate, mm -hmm. um, really um, will extract some pain mm -hmm. in November 2014 if they don't do the right thing. Mm -hmm. And so I think this show of all of the protests that are going to happen and rallies that are going to happen really is about keeping it front and center mm -hmm. and letting them know just because the government shut down doesn't mean that the people are shutting down. Well, well, right. but, I, but I hate to be the skunk at the picnic yeah. here. But <laughs> we're talking... No. <laughs> Actually, I like being the skunk at the picnic. <laughs> but, uh, but we're talking about a congressional election. Yeah. And the issue of gerrymandering comes mm -hmm. up here. Mm -hmm. The mm -hmm. truth is, is that in these th districts of true believers, that is to say, mm -hmm. particularly the hardline Republican districts, there is no pressure to come right. up with anything about immigration. Mm -hmm. Now, obviously, there is a nationwide wide feeling that we have to be more humane mm -hmm. when it comes to our immigration policy. But I don't think there's going to be any pressure this year or next mm -hmm. in Congress. What about, what about for those off years, what about for those off -years gubernatorial <laughs> elections? So, I mean, so I understand we're talking about bills that would be passed at the federal level. And yet folks that are running at the statewide level in these off-year elections nonetheless get attached to their party in, in a variety right. of important ways. I, and I was just in Colorado uh, last yeah. month, uh, which is a state that has gone from 
leaning red to almost completely blue. Mm -hmm. Even in the 2010, the great Republican year, Republicans were still losing. Mm -hmm. And it's most, and not entirely, but a lot of it is because of the Latino vote. They really have risen up and immigration's been the key issue. So the House Republicans there, for example, who are thinking about this, even if their district's relatively safe, they have to mm -hmm. think, if I'm ever going to run for that's statewide right. office, yeah. right. I have to get right and, on this and issue. That's something but, that's, yeah. we're and that's a point of pressure. And, it's a point of pressure. And, and, my point that this is more relevant in a national election. Yes. Right, right. right. Come, come, come 2016 presidential. Right. But that's short term. That's short term. Yeah. I mean, with the changing demographics, is, I mean, it's moving so quickly yeah. that, yeah, you might get 2014, but after that, every, you know. At a certain point, you can no longer that's gerrymander right. sufficiently. Well, right. and, and so exactly on this issue of statewide elections, up next, I actually do have a letter to a candidate, a candidate in one of the biggest races of the year.